an awful long time since I have gotten on and posted a new vlog, but let's do it. So much has happened over the past, oh, I don't even know. When was the last time I posted one? Like three months ago? And I literally sat down. I feel like most of us kind of like reviewing the past year. And I was scrolling through my phone and just making a typical like end of the year recap video, which I did post so you guys can see that through it all. I knew things didn't happen the way I originally planned. All right. So a lot of us start off the new year and we plan for stuff and have goals and mini goals. And some of us do this. Some of us don't. I find that at least if I try to hone in whatever it might be, um, it makes for a better year for myself because I need that type of focus and sort of that's that growth um, goal, basically the overall goal, like a word of the year. Yes, I cheesy. Yes, totally do it. So looking back last year, mine was confidence. Um, particularly it was confidence, community and creativity, but confidence was the main one. And a lot of things that I had planned underneath that main. So item. last year I had <laughs> a squeaky chair. Yeah, that might be changing this year. <laughs> okay. Original goals underneath confidence was to license my art, to do more sip and paint events, and um, do, honestly, those were my main ones, <laughs> do a um, out of town um, market. I did not, did not <laughs> at all, do art licensing because other things shifted. Realize as you set your goals and intentions, make them malleable to what doors do open to you, all right? Sometimes things close for a reason. And I've been saying this to like all my friends, like it's something I had to embrace. Well, how do I phrase this? Um, God is just saying, it's just not right now. All right, I'm shaking the, I'm just like energy, right? I started off the year doing more sip and paint events where they're like one-off workshops that people can bring their friends or their dates and do a one night only sort of learn how to sketch and paint something. They were really fun and very popular early on in the year, but as the year progressed on, they kind of dipped. I had to shift all of that energy into something else. I had been playing with for four or five years, something like that, was to teach art to kids which is something I have been dreaming of since I was a young little girl because I was first inspired by the art teacher who would come into our classroom maybe four times a year and teach us some sort of little craft or art um, lesson. And it was just like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. And then like everyone got to be creative. I really wanted to do that. That was like a long-term goal eventually to kind of come to some sort of point and in that instance, um, mid-year, I was like, I got to do this. I can do this. I'm, I, it literally was paperwork stopping me. I had the knowledge. I've done it before. But um, I wanted to become a vendor to one of the charter schools here in town to kind of jumpstart my whole process into that. And it has flowered since. It is amazing to see the growth of myself because I didn't have the confidence thinking in my head like that negative thought like I couldn't do it like but it's stupid like why why not you've done it before you, I've taught for all ages up through college even independent adults like it's just something like I've done why couldn't I do it as something I actually tell others I offer all the time so this past year I took that leap, I did it, and now I'm organizing everything to make it more successful. The point being is, though I had one goal in mind, art licensing was supposed to be the main one, everything shifted because I noticed there was a need and sort of like my heart calling, my purpose, whatever it is for the moment, um, was to teach. And even though teaching adults, last year wasn't very, I mean, it was successful in the beginning of the year, but I thought it would be better in the fall. <laughs> it really wasn't. Everyone was so busy. Um, but everybody was looking for stuff for their kids. And uh, I love teaching, like I said, all levels, but it was just really cool to finally embrace that. 
and actually go for it. Now, when it came to art licensing, I just didn't have time. Like I wanted to, do I have characters? Do I, I started organizing all of my stuff. And um, it's just one of those goals that I'm gonna have to take slow process with. Slow process, baby steps <laughs> with it all. Um, I like to challenge myself every year. So confidence was definitely something I really wanted to focus on last year. And this year I am doing something different. I always do something different that like pushes me further. And um, in thinking of what it could possibly be, I journaled, I and that really helped because I felt like I was just doing this the whole time in my head just to get up. But before I like go into this year's stuff, back to reviewing and kind of taking doing this journey as for vlogging and doing different things thing to flip through like besides photos just videos of me working doc the documentation of my process and how i've grown this the past year it was incredible like when somebody had asked me what did you do this year or how are you doing in the moment i couldn't think of anything that i had I had done because I was I was busy a different busy than I normally had been in the past because I was still doing commissions I was still selling my art I was still um, running my own business but also added the art teacher and gallery um, curator and now my business all together and everything just kind of meshed into one my brain it was just fuzzy I just had no time to process and absorb it and so when I sat down and I was going through everything I was like whoa, I had proof to go through and like I was able to start absorbing everything I had done and like I feel different than I did last year for sure. I feel more confident and more sure of myself and like even when I started this whole channel, <laughs> it wasn't something I ever would have imagined myself doing. I love watching people but me doing it was different. Young artists say, I was so shy, I never. I mean, when looking at the growth alone for my channel, I have nearly 200 of you have subscribed to my channel, which is just mind blowing to me. So thank you for that. Last week, like yesterday, <laughs> one of my shorts hit over 65,000 views. What? It's just crazy. And I know these are just numbers and like we really shouldn't get hung up on it. I'm celebrating the small wins that you guys even saw what I do and that you like what I do. It just kind of proves that we're all worthy and it's okay to be like excited about that. But I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that I would have my own channel, would be talking about art. I've been looking back literally through my numbers and what has been successful and been doing well or things I need to work on so I can measure my own growth in where I want to, you know, work hard and grow from and just thank you for watching my vlog journey and my art journey and all of that it's just really incredible like i'm just flabbergasted thank you <laughs> and i've literally like put this kind of on the back burner because the last three months were the most busiest productive like heavy hitting months like october november december usually is the craziest time for um, as creatives and so since we're doing a year in review and uh, to uh, project what growth we want for next year let me quickly go over a few other places where I have grown and remain stagnant so Instagram I have not grown at all gotten better at taking video because of this um, channel and because of the confidence factor so have I gained any more followers from maybe maybe 20 honestly but i'm still remaining at the sa same 4000 followers there again not really a problem um but just something to know for tiktok i have a, just over 7000 followers there but i've noticed that one has gotten a lot slower as an app because they've switched um a big old switch for tiktok shop and i'm not really into how that whole thing works. I have access to make one, but not really my thing. Twitter slash X, I do not have anymore. So I'm not worried about that. Threads, I keep forgetting about that one. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> my newsletter has grown maybe 20 more people. 
that's something I really want to work and push towards is to remind people that I have a newsletter and use it because you never know with any of these um, social media apps what, what could happen and having people's kind of like the backside of things on all the numbers and things to look at and don't just judge yourself from that but for me I never really looked at it and so it was just something really neat to look back and see along with all the video and the process of it all and just to see the positive that I did bring and the light that I was able to share to, with others through my art and all of that. So I have my journal which i have like three because i lose them all the time let's be honest i have this journal that i've had for oh gosh four years and i'm finally using it and yes we use lots of bright colors or i do um because my brain thinks in color it's boring when it's stagnant i sketch in this sometimes sometimes i only use a um sketchbook for my journal but I've noticed this year, this past year, when I actually physically write things down, and I've talked about it a lot, um, the artist's way, I highly recommend it. If you're an artist, creative, go for it. Um, it's just amazing. But it really has helped me reframe everything to make me a better person and individual to grow and make a really amazing creative business. The way That's I like to plan and visualize and all that is tons of research pinterest and then i wrote down all the words that like caught my eye through different people posting them or whether it was a list on websites i just pick ones that like i really vibed with and then after that i circled my favorites and went through the dictionary and found ones that like I love the meanings and like I was drawn to a few things going on so I'll get to it um, I in the past had purchased cultivate what matters power sheets goal planner and I used this back in 2021 I think I purchased two this was my second one that I did but I never went through in 2021 because I got busy for different ways so I went through and as you can tell only did a few things um but I used the same idea of how to choose your word just to basically write it down and then kind of see what works one year obviously it was radiate and it just has different questions and it's really amazing if you sit down and do it so since i still have this blank i'm going to use this for the rest of the year um for 2024 <laughs> i'm also a part of a creative community called creative powerhouse society and they gave us this wonderful reflection guide this is run by stacy bloomfield and with all of this i spread out and just sat with my what I wanted to do for this coming year. I like to think in like general terms. I hate going like in quarters. I know this is how all of us illustrators and commercial artists and um, all of us people who fit in that category, we should be thinking in quarter systems and I kind of do, but it gives me a little bit of anxiety. So I try to ditch that thought into, okay, here's the first group of goals I want to attain. Maybe basically like smaller step goals, but I haven't even gotten there. I've only reflected on the past year and figured out that this year I really want to work at sparkling possibility. Lots of goodness and light and love and excitement for the coming year. For 2024 and everything that rolls into it will um, just bloom into sparkling possibility. <laughs> What I also want to and will be doing this year is to embrace my love for mixed media. And let me show you, Most, let me show you, this is gonna be good. Last year, I really was playing with marker and adding um, paint over it. This year, I'm going to be incorporating other mediums like color pencil and things. And look, this is one of my Patreon supporters original piece. Um, they are part of the super squeed here, but I created this with pencil, marker, and limited amounts of paint and some embellishments. Same with this one. I have another one I'm working on, but it's still in the process. But um, not only does it give my characters and my pieces a bit more life as I'm looking for the rest of them, I feel like it just gives it more like sharper edges and lots of more whimsy but it takes me a lot less time and I feel like that joy of playing with more 
different types of mediums. That's the, the thing with being an illustrator, not using illustrator. Being an illustrator is you get bored with the same medium. I feel like a lot of us do. And that's why I picked that as my like official art title. Like to, who, who, if we're all artists, it doesn't really matter what you use. I still use digital. Um, but that sense of play is coming back. And On top of all of that, Something I've been holding back, something my husband and I have been praying on and really like trying to figure out if this was the direction we wanted to go. We're ready to announce we got a laser cutter and engraver, which is huge because I do spend a lot on wood cuts and custom pieces and all that. And he's been learning for the past month how to work this machine because again it's a machine it's a laser it's got math um it's got all kinds of things and he's been using it for his business as well as mine and i'm just so ecstatic about the possibilities it is just a little overwhelming because trust me i was like when he first came to me with the idea with a couple of friends our friends mentioning the possible like hey this would be a good idea i was like huh another thing to learn I truly believe in signs and there were so many things that lined up like the whole month of December it was insane in a great way in fact the first thing that I had him do was these cute little ornaments for my patreon community and if you're a current patron you had no clue until now that this was actually from our own workshop I told you this year was the year of sparkling possibility and they are seriously endless. Go give Skipper Kevin Art a follow on Instagram or check out skipperkevinart.com. He just updated his shop as well and that's my hubby. He's doing wonderful things and I cannot wait for him to reveal what next things he has lined up as well. So it's gonna be great and grand and just exciting because this year, is definitely going to be a wonderful year for sure. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Possibilities. They're out there. <laughs> and that's a wrap for this episode of the Say What Vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I now know how to respond to your comments here on YouTube, which is wonderful. I also have um, updated shorts available um, and other episodes of this past um vlog. I think I only had like seven before this one, but check out what I have and I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you again for all the follows, the likes, the loves, and wherever you are, I hope you have an amazing day. And I forgot to mention, I'm Say from Say Studios, artist, illustrator, and art educator and art curator because I wear many hats. You can find me everywhere at Say Studios. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time here on Say What? <laughs>